Hey everyone, it's Sergio from Voices, and today we're continuing the conversation about microphones, and we're gonna go over the best professional microphones for voiceover to suit all budgets. In the last video, we covered the best USB microphones, which, generally speaking, are slightly less expensive with a lower cost of entry. But if you're really serious about voiceover, you'll probably want to invest in a good XLR microphone and interface pair. These are generally higher quality microphones than USB mics built for professional recording, built with better hardware, better electronics, and typically producing much higher audio quality. XLR microphones are the industry standard for high quality audio recording. They also require an audio interface. The microphone plugs into the interface and the interface plugs into the computer. An audio interface does three main jobs. One, the preamp boosts the mic signal to a line level signal that the computer likes to read. Two, the analog to digital conversion turns that incoming audio signal into a bunch of ones and zeros that the computer can understand. On the way back to your headphones, it goes through the exact opposite process, turning the ones and zeros into an analog signal. And three, it also supplies the necessary 48 volt power to the microphone. This is called phantom power. Just about any audio interface will do the trick these days. We typically recommend the Focusrite Scarlett Solo or the PreSonus AudioBox 96. Just make sure that it's capable of high resolution audio like 96 kilohertz, and you'll want to find one with a nice sounding headphone amplifier. Every microphone on the market has a property called directionality or polar pattern, which defines how sensitive the mic is at different angles. A cardioid mic picks up the sound directly from the front, limiting ambient noises around the back, and this is the best directionality type for voiceovers because it won't pick up as many reflections from your mic stand, laptop, or the walls in your booth. What microphone is best for you? Well, it's nearly impossible for someone else to give you a definitive answer to that question. The type of mic that works best for your voice and your budget will be different from one person to the next. Most voiceover talents start out with a large diaphragm condenser mic. Here are some of my top picks, and I'll put a link to these microphones down below. Okay, so let's talk about the Rode NT1A. This is a great option that is low cost and will stand the test of time. Rode offers an awesome 10-year warranty, and this mic will last throughout your career. Then we have the Audio-Technica AT2020. This is one of the best and most affordable options for starting out. We've heard some fantastic results from this microphone. And finally, the AKG P220. There are more expensive versions of this microphone, but they'll have features that you won't need for voiceover, like polar pattern selector and a pad to record very light sources like drums. If you're looking for a higher end microphone, something that you'd see the top talent use, I recommend the Neumann TLM 103. It's regarded as one of the top VO mics. The Sennheiser MKH416 is a shotgun style microphone. These are the standard mics in film and TV. And then we have the Neumann U87, one of the most well-known voice recording microphones of all time. As we said last time, microphone bundles are great for those just starting out, as they will include your microphone, a stand, a shock mount, an XLR cable, and a pop filter all in one box. Now that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. If you're interested in following along with the rest of this series, feel free to subscribe. In the next video, we'll cover setting up your demo reel. As always, happy auditioning, and we'll see you on the next one.